Oh, hello, friends, and welcome to Backgammon Blitz Trial. I don't know a dang thing about Backgammon. <laughs> so, this is my first learning experience. I'm curious to see how simple or hard this game actually is, so let me let me actually try to learn. Learn how to move your pieces around the board. I am very curious about that. This is how the pieces are set up at the start of each game. One player plays a black, other as white. Okay, simple. I like how they didn't make it, like, perfectly lined up either. Black pieces move in a clockwise direction and leave the board at the top right. Clockwise direction? How do you move clockwise when it's just up and down? <laughs> okay. Leave the board at the top right. Not sure I quite understand what you mean, but keep going. Oh, you're showing me. Interesting. <laughs> the opposing player moves their checkers in the opposite direction, starting from the top right of the screen. So, from the top right, I will be going down to the bottom left. No, to the bottom right. <laughs> ah, not as simple as you think, game. At its core, backgammon is a simple race to get your checkers off the board first, with one player starting from the bottom right and the other starting from the top right. Okay, so it all starts from the right. Did you know <laughs> the piece in this backgammon have various naming conventions, from checkers to draughts, pips, and many more besides? What? <laughs> The event completed. Congratulations on completing this tutorial. Reward, five boolean. Oh, thanks, game. I'm sure that'll come in handy for when I never buy this. At the start of each turn, the players roll two dice. The outcome of the dice determines how the player can move their pe So, how or how many spaces? For all subsequent turns, players roll a set of dice matching the color of their checkers. It is Currently your own turn. Okay. So I'm playing black. Okay. You have thrown five, three. What? <laughs> well, what does that mean? I threw a, f okay, a three and a five. Does that mean it's a, an eight? <laughs> Use the left stick or directional button to move the pointer to highlight the piece on the left of the board. Oh, geez. On the left? Well, I thought I was going from the right. You're changing the rules on me here, game. You'll notice the piece is now highlighted. This shows you are now in control of that piece. Now deselect the piece. Oh. How do I deselect? There we go. Now select the piece on the right. This is the one I should do. The highlighted parts show valid moves. In case the piece can move 3, 5, or 8. Select the highlight point. So I can either move 3... That each number that I roll individually or both together. But... How? Oh, I see. So it's not like eight white spaces, it's spaces together. So this is one, two, three from my piece, or five, or eight. So what's... I'll move it that far. Alright. Event completed! Another five bullion! Learn how to move your pieces around the board! I thought I just did. <laughs> it's currently your turn to roll the dice. It was always my turn. Okay. So now, using the three... Okay, you can move empty point using three from the first dice. Move the highlighted piece three places forward to occupy an enemy point shown. What? Move the highlighted piece three places forward. So, one, two, three... I, did I do it right? <laughs> piece can also move to a point occupied by pieces of the same color. Using the two from the second dice, move the highlighted piece. Oh, so I could... Weird. So I don't have to just move one piece. If I have two dices, I can separate them in between. There's no limit to how many pieces can... Okay. I don't... 
I'm getting a little bit more confused the more I learn. It's time to learn how to take an opponent's checkers. This is the important part. A blot is when a point is occupied by only one checker. Moving onto an enemy blot will take that checker. Is only occupied. Is oh, okay, so a blot is just one enemy's thing. Okay. Apparently, my turn to roll. Use the numbers to move the highlight checker eight places forward and take the opponent's spot. So take that and take that. So now that I took it, it's on the table. Placed on the bar. Okay. Player must move a taken character from the bar before any others can be moved. Taken checkers are enter the game back at the first point on the board. Just one of your points check. What? What does that mean? Good game just got better. <laughs> your opponent has rolled a 3-1, and due to both points options being blocked, is unable to re-enter their checkers onto the board. As your opponent is unable to move, it turns on. So what made it blocked? The fact that they have one... What? <laughs> I don't understand why it's blocked. I don't even know what they... I don't even know what it means to bring your checker back. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Highlight piece using the dice. They don't have any blots, so I'm gonna have to move one here. Okay. Now he's gonna do something to get me, isn't he? 4-1. What? What was the difference? What did the 4 1 have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't understand that rule. Is it because there was 4 1 from his starting point? I don't remember. Uh, whatever. Name backgammon itself is the subject of debate. Some believe that backgammon originated from the Saxon word back, which means back. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and gammon, meaning game. Others assert that backgammon came from the Welsh words of back or l little and gammon, meaning battle. Huh. Could be either or, I guess. Who gives a crap? What happens when a double is thrown? Teach me. When dice in the same value of their own, the number of the doubled. For example, two fours. Ah. Gets to move two, four times four. Jesus, really? Notice how each die icon grays out once used. I didn't notice it. <laughs> So I can select any piece, and I could move it four, or another four, or what's four to four, or twelve spaces, or sixteen spaces. Interesting. Congratulations! Five more billion. Learn how to bear off. <laughs> what? Final quarter of the board is called a player's home board final quarter, so therefore, where all my pieces are right now, I think? I don't know if I'm playing white or black still. I'm going to assume I play black, which means I'm in my home base. Once you got all your checkers in this area, then only then can you start to bear off. Okay, we set the board up to show you a match where a player has all their checkers in the home board. Good. To bear off, a player must move their checkers along the exact number of points required to reach home. Use 3 and 6 shown to move. Ah, okay. So this is kind of like any board game where you can't go home unless you roll the exact number. So I can go straight home. 2, 6. Bam. And now that I have a 3, I can use move that one too. Bam. Okay. Learn how to bear off a little better certain situations to bear off, both checkers, the player will have to move one of them, move them in the correct order. What? Being just a few points to the finish line, the 4-5 means the player is able to bear off both checkers without using the exact numbers. However, a checker position must, points from home must always be played first. So... What? <laughs> Why? Just because? Is that how it was last time, too? Wait. The dice roll of four means that the player is able to bear off both checkers. Take them home, basically. Send them home! I hate the term bear off. <laughs> Without using the exact numbers. Actually, I love the term bear off, but not for, like, trying to understand this. However, the checker position must... So, so 
I guess that's just because. Like, I'm thinking it's because there's only two blots on the board and not, like, stacks. But I don't know if that's the case. They're not teaching me that in that kind of way. By the way, we haven't taken a single sip of our god dang tea coffee. <laughs> Alright. So even though I had one... So even though I had one thing left, I could go even with a... I don't get it. I don't understand this game. <laughs> It teaches me something, and then it confuses me on that subject. How is the doubling cube used? What? <laughs> it's a doubling cube. Doubling cube is used to raise the stakes of a game. With the doubling cube in the mix, the winning player's score is multiplied by the amount shown on the cube at the end of the game. And around the doubling cube doubles as stakes are raised, starting at 2, then doubling each time. 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. The cube starts the game on the bar, showing 64, but at this point in a match, it has no effect or influence. For each turn, the player can decide to double the stakes of the game. This board shows you to be in a strong early position. So you just start, what, in random positions? <laughs> Waiting for your opponent to respond. Okay, I offered. He has agreed to double the stakes. So now we doubled it by two. Gave us place to in the possession of the player who agreed to double the stakes. Only the player in possession of the doubling cube can request to raise the stakes again. So, once you raise the stakes, only you control the raising of the stakes? <laughs> uh, okay. It's currently your turn to roll the dice. You roll to one, two. You decide to move the highlighted piece. To where? Anywhere. One. That's, yeah, three. Doubling cube offered. Except they're offered to double the stakes. Reach it. What? But I thought only I can raise the stakes. I don't understand this game anymore. <laughs> or did it mean once you double it, only the other person can double it again? I don't get it. They decided to double the stakes one more time. You can agree. Take possession of the cube. Or you can... Oh, okay. So once you agree, it's in your possession. Thanks for that game. Ugh. It says whoever's in possession can... Okay. Okay. Whatever. Technically, the cube can be du trivia. Oh, great. So this is pretty much useless information. <laughs> Technically, the cube can be doubled infinitely, but due to the pace and flow of a backgammon match, it is rare the stakes can be raised beyond four or five uses of the doubling cube. That's why we've limited it to a maximum of 64. Why not let me decide, huh? It's my game. More, I'm just getting bullions up the woohoo. Let's take... Let's take a look at the finer points and special circumstances. Uh, let's not. <laughs> let's just play. I don't want to raise stakes. In this example, a game ends with one player having all their checkers still on the board. So they haven't returned a single one home. Wow, I suck. The winner has won what is known as a double game. So he won, basically. This means the value of the doubling cube 8, for example, is doubled again to 16. The cube is not on the thing! We didn't raise our stakes, it's in the middle of the freaking bar! What? Is that how it's supposed to look? Because that's not, that's not how it looked last time we had the stakes raised. <laughs> Let's take a look at the finer points and special circumstances on the cube. <laughs> Why? In this second example, the game has again been won. However, this time the loser still has checkers on the bar. As well as having checkers in the home board. The winner won a triple game. So this is basically like, from what I'm gathering, double game means it was doubly insulting because I didn't get any of my things home. Triply insulting because I have one on the bar. <laughs> Did you know there have been numerous variations and revisions to the doubling cube rules? From the Jacoby rule to the beaver and raccoon are all included in this game for you to try out. Please don't make me learn them. I have 50 booleans now, that's all I need. Oh good, I can go to the menu. Hooray! Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> that was the demo. Learning how to play was the demo? Music drums! Oh. Cool. Display type. It's great. <laughs> was that seriously it? I can't play it at all. You have to learn to play and then purchase the game. You son of a bitch. 
This is not a demo! I mean, technically, tutorials are demos, but this didn't demo me a game of backgammon. I might as well just buy a real backgammon board and play it. <laughs> Why would I buy the game? If I were gonna do... Uh, I couldn't even drink my tea. Ah, oh, you have failed me. Backgammon, Blitz... No. Just no. Try better next time. <laughs>